Hi everyone, I'm Candice. Uh, I'm from Floratech. I'm the project manager of Floratech. And I'm Dan Kui, and I'm here with Georgian Technologies out of Taiwan. And what do we see here? So this is a, a design for a new uh, set of AR AI glasses that will be coming on the market uh, in the near future. With a revolutionary technology. Right? Yes, correct. So how do you make it? So let's move over from here. Yeah, you can see this year we're actually putting all the alliance together and we have our one-stop AR solution. So what is one-stop AR solution is uh, we're integrating the 8-inch this year, building a mega site. Um, starting from the EpiTaxi, we have uh, in Poratech, uh, it's manufactured in the uh, UK. And what is we, the EpiTaxi? So EpiTaxi is here. You can see here's the wafer. So this year we're demonstrating this is the 8-inch one. We want to go into the semiconductor industry. And what is the material? This is uh, uh, Genon Silicon for the material. Yeah, and you can see this side, there's the pixelation of it. So what, what this means, pixelation? So pixelation, you can see here is the wafer. And then you can see these little uh, LEDs getting cut into pixels. So this pixel, uh, we can get it less than 2.5 micrometers. And you say this is a big, big project. Yeah. And it's like a fab? Yeah, so we're integrating all the alliance, and uh, we have a Foxconn group in this lab. Let's go look at the alliance there, over there. Let's come back here in a second. Oh, uh, let's come back. Uh, let's talk. Uh, let's, let's have a look just for quickly. Here we see some logos on the wall. Uh, is this the, some yeah, so, of the logos? So basically what you have here is that Foxconn is an investor in all these companies, and Foxconn's customer came to them and said, we want a pair of glasses that have not only AI embedded, but augmented reality and a display. So, so the systems designer, which is Georgian, designed the whole system. They're the systems integrator, and they got together with, with Rapus, which is doing the light engine. They got together with GIS, which is doing the waveguide, and Porotech, which is supplying the micro LED displays, and put it together. All of that now has come together in the prototypes, and they will be sent over to Foxconn for mass production. So Foxconn is a, is a big deal. It could be millions of devices, potentially. Yes. What's nice about the relationship is that Foxconn has the customer, so all these smaller companies don't have to worry about the go-to-market strategies. All right. So what so do we see here? From concept to market launch, it's all done in one. Yeah, we see here is the repost for the light engine. So you can see here, this the uh, monocon green coming from the, uh, the LED from uh, micro LED in Portech. So you can see here, the resolution is 640 times 480. With the Actually, PDA. it's quite bright. Yeah. And this it's comes really, out of the little... Yeah, you can see uh, this demo is putting the micro LED and then they're using the COB, and they can also use flip chip packaging in the future because uh, flip chip, the benefits is they are 50% smaller. Can you address. explain the steps? Um, we can probably ask. Uh, yeah, so yeah. there's, uh, there's, there's SMT, diet attachment. attach alignment. And then I put the lens here, and that becomes the light engine. All right. Yeah. Do you want to say some more about uh, uh, how, how it works and everything? Uh, sorry. Uh, here we see the COB flip chip package. Yeah. So in traditional, we use the COB like the wide bound solution. So in uh, Rebus, we have a free chip process to attach a uh, die to the PCB in different way. So in that case, uh, uh, the uh, right now the you can see the uh, different. So the COB the uh, micro LED is on the top of the PCB, but in free chip uh, the micro LED on the bottom side of the PCB. So in that case, we don't need uh, like a COB area. So that means we can string the size a little bit, and also because of the the micro LED on the bottom side of the PCB, so they can have uh, like a can contact the heat sink uh, on the device directly. So we have a better heat conduction here. Nice. So it's a uh, it's really important to have a great light engine. Uh, can you talk some more about all the pieces that are coming together? Yeah, so uh, you can see here is the yeah. GIS, and uh, GIS is making the waveguide. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the demo over there. They're collaborating so, with Salad. So uh, there's different steps also mm -hmm. in developing the best waveguide. Correct. And uh, here it's demonstrated. Yes, And correct. we can see in there a very 
smooth display. Uh, do you want to say some more about the quality of this waveguide? Uh, so this is very high quality waveguide design. How do you do a waveguide design so good? Do you, you can say, um, uh, here it says customized design, manufacturing, master mold. Uh, you basically uh, showing it off here. Yes, uh, we are uh, GIS. We do the manufacturing uh, of uh, of guy, and uh, the old guy designed by Selig, uh nice. which is a Japanese company for the old guy design. Nice. So it's great to have some great waveguides implemented yeah. in those smart glasses. So let's have see here? let's have an overview of the whole supply chain. So here you can see starting from Epitaxi. So it's Epitaxi, the one that we just see, and micro display, and then we have light engine and wave guy with the FOV of 25 degrees, nice. and AR glasses. All right. Georgian. Georgian, yeah. Can you tell some more about Georgian? Yes, yeah. come on over here. Yeah. So Georgian is the designer and system integrator. So when Foxconn said we need to build something, Georgian sat down to do all the designs, done, did the industrial designs, did all the PCBs, did everything, all the system integration from the various components that uh, Candace just mentioned, and of course all the software that will go along with it. And they will also work directly with Foxconn for any manufacturability issues uh, before passing the whole design off to Foxconn for production. All right, it looks really smooth. And uh, there's a lot of uh, information here about... Yeah, they are meant to be a data snacking type of device. So competitive with a Meta Ray-Ban, but it has a display built in. So the AI function, as an example, not only gives you audio capability, but that information is also presented up to the up to the, uh, the display in the eye. So as an example, you're going down the street and you're asking directions, you will get audio feedback from the AI that will tell you, hey, take a left. But then an arrow will appear in the lens that will show you which way to which way to turn. So we did the first video many years ago right. in this space, right? right? And you've been having, looking forward to this vision happening more and more. Yes. And it, it seems at Display Week 2025 here at the Port Tech booth, right. many things are coming together, right? It's so, gonna be big. Yeah, so what, what's really good here is that there is an alliance now that has come together to actually go from concept to full to full production. So issues around standardization, working relationship, all those things help drive the cost down, help make sure that the customer gets something that meets the needs from day one. Yeah, and we can see here, uh, this also demonstrates a one-stop AR solution. You can see the picture here. Nice. There's a lot of stuff in the, in the AR glass. Yeah, correct. All right, and uh, we see this is ready for mass production. Correct. That's the big deal. Yeah, so in this year, September, we are looking to have mass production in monocon green. And there's one more thing uh, for Coretec this year. You can come over here. Um, this is this year one new technology called SpectraCore. Uh, it has a super narrow spectrum, and then the brightness is five times more, and it has a stable wavelength, so no shifts across the driving currents. This is unlocking in Q3 2025. So this is another new one. So this is a, also the next next gen uh, performance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're very excited about this. All right. And I guess uh, there's a lot of experts in industry and uh, enthusiasts. They have a lot of questions, mm -hmm. no? Uh, what do people come to the booth to ask? Yeah, people ask about what's the next step of micro LED in Portech or what's the, what the alliance do. So that's how it brings us together. Yeah, and also about, especially about use cases for consumers, right? It's still, that's still a big, a big question on everybody's mind. And I think that, that the industry, I mean, you and I have been doing this for a while. The industry is, is starting to babysit the consumers into adoption. So Meta Ray-Ban came out and had audio AI that helped 
consumers understand how to wear these glasses and how to use them. And now we're adding a display to them that walks the consumers into a new realm of getting visual cues as to what's going on. And maybe the next step for consumers for mass adoption is finding a way to really embed uh, binocular, full color types of things. Maybe it's going to be in the automobile where the glasses are actually integrated into the operations of an automobile. So those are the types of things that you're considering when you're doing this. So people want the full color, right? Yeah, so we're also having full color uh, next year, Q1. We're excited about that one as well. Is that the one you're talking about there, SpectraCore? No, this is a new technology. So that's further further step for the technology. And how do you achieve the full color? Uh, the full color is basically the same progress as I, I just showed for the monochrome green. So we're using, we're hoping to use the eight inch process as well to do X cube in the AR. X cube, yeah. Yeah. All right, and uh, there's always to optimize how these things are done, right? Correct. Correct. Things can be smoother, better, higher resolutions. People want talking about 4K, potentially, but it depends what is the use case, right? Yes. Right. All right. Cool. And all kinds of uh, AI mm -hmm. apps yes. are yes. going to come, right? Yes. yes. And killer apps could come. Correct. We're very excited about it.